for the men and women of our far-flung empire, working in their several vocations with the one same purpose. All our members of the great family of nations, which is prepared to sacrifice everything that freedom of spirit may be saved to the world. Such is the spirit of the empire, of the great dominions, of India, of every colony, large or small. From all alike have come offers of help for which the mother country can never be sufficiently grateful. Such unity in aim and in effort has never been seen in the world before. I believe from my heart that the cause which binds together my peoples and our gallant and faithful allies is the cause of Christian civilization. On no other basis can a true civilization be built. Let us remember this through the dark times ahead of us and when we are making the peace for which all men pray. A, a new year is at hand. We cannot tell what it will bring. If it brings a peace, how thankful we shall all be. If it brings us continued struggle, we shall remain undaunted. In the meantime, I feel that we may all find a message of encouragement in the lines which in my closing words I would like to say to you. I said to the man who stood at the gate of the year, give me a light that I may tread safely into the unknown. And he replied, go out into the darkness and put your hand into the hand of God. That shall be to you better than light and safer than a known way. And may that almighty hand guide and uphold us all. Oh.